what, what, what's coming next? I have no idea. I'm not so proud. It's not okay. Like my laxatives, and yeah, he wants to see it all. Yeah, he just wants to be careful before he goes. Being someone telling me you have to go detox, you have to go into a drug rehab facility is not something I would ever expect to hear. So it was like a shock, a blow to my ego. It was a reality shock, I think. You know, I've read through everything and I've looked, and I, I, I pretty much have a good idea where you're at, but there are legal issues. Mm -hmm. medical legal issues. It's just about us knowing what you're taking. No, and I understand that. And that's what it's your safety, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, no. you can't go to Harmony Grove until you... Until least, I'm admitted here? Until you're admitted here or somewhere else. All right, well, this isn't gonna work then, because I'm not... And they, and they want it for two weeks. Okay, yeah, no. Definitely not gonna happen, no. I don't want to go to detox because I don't feel I need it. I need it. I feel like I'm fine, I can handle it myself. So my thing is either, you know, I, I, I go to a hotel and either go to Harmony Grove tomorrow or I, I don't know what to do because I'm not willing. I, I could I, probably I go home. That's, that's, that may be an option right now. I'm offering to make sure you're stable, make sure you get a good night's sleep, you're going to feel better. I'll make sure that you don't have any swings off drugs. And then once that's, but my that's thing, obvious, you just go over there. My thing they is can't, that I've been they can't off medication see. for four days now. So what am I stabilizing from? That, that's my question. That's my we have question. no evidence of that. I know you're taking handfuls of drugs. No, I'm not taking handfuls of Xanax or Klonopin at all. We, that's what the evidence supports. The diuretics, you can see that I abused beyond, you know, beyond. Um, but, and, and the Percocet, obviously I've abused. But other than that, I, I'm not agreeing with this whole thing, no. But the bottles don't make any sense. You're not taking what it says on the label. Nobody knows what you're taking. The only thing I want to do is go home. But it's hard and scary to think that I'm going to have to face everyone, my family and my friends, and that they most likely will be done with me if I don't follow through with what I said I was going to do. Your eating disorder is primary, but drugs are a long-term issue, and they go together. You have both. And so if you don't deal with one, you can't fix the other. And I know you're upset thinking you weren't going to have to deal with that. And uh, I don't want me and my daughter to ever think that her mommy was a drug addict. This is all about your issues of control then. So I stay here tonight and I can check out tomorrow. Yeah. If I'm okay. If you're, if you're stable. And if I just I'm have... okay in my mind. If I'm okay as I am right if now. If you're okay in my mind. Harmony Grove is not equipped to deal with the withdrawal from the amount of prescriptions that you're on. Dr. Rand believes that it's gonna take around 30 days to get you stable off those. I was on Xanax and Clonopin. You could have said to me, you know, Leonore, I don't want you here on Xanax. Let's work it out later. We have clients on Xanax and Clonopin. However, when, you, when I heard about the bottle of the 80, that's the Percocet. The Percocet. And to me, that was really it's scary. It's insane. I admit that. It, it, it was scary. really scary. This is a, an amazing opportunity for it you to It was an amazing do. opportunity. But you're turning it around to go 30 days detox, which I do not need. And then we'll, maybe But we'll we've work decided on it. as a team that that's what you need. OK, well, Leonora decided as a person and a human being that that is insane. That's insanity. Now I'm going to do 30 days of detox? No, I, I will just, I could do detox at home, so I'm done. We've decided as a team that's what you need. OK, well, Leonora decided as a person and a human being that that is insane. Now I'm going to do 30 days of detox? No, I, I will just, I could do detox at home, so I'm done. After I got angry and flipped out, I, um, thought to myself, I can either stay or I can go home and tell my daughter that I gave up. And I just, I can't imagine telling my daughter that mommy's not doing what I promised. I promised her I was going to get better. So I want you to take about five minutes to write down all the things that go through your head on a daily basis about what you hate about yourself, what you don't like, any kind of negative body image issues. 17 days into detox, Leonora has started outpatient treatment at Harmony Grove. She's beginning to confront the toxic emotions at the root of her eating disorder. 
Today has been a very challenging day. I uh, had a lot of urges to purge today, a lot of anxiety. Um, my family's coming tomorrow, so I'm excited about that, but I think a little nervous too. I'm scared. You know, it's, it's finding out who we are. I think that's what I'm scared of because I have no idea who I am. I'm trying really hard to figure that out, but I don't have a clue. Who wants to light the fire? I do. Yay. All right, so everybody, let's say a cheer to getting rid of self-hate. If Leonora is going to recover, she will have to confront her issues with her family. You're picking at your food. You're gonna eat some of it? Stress and anxiety makes my life worse. It Me makes too. My, whatever my issues are Me worse. too. I know it's about you. She needs to wake up. Leonora's mom and dad have come from New Jersey for three days of intensive family therapy. Leonora was born four weeks before I turned 19. She was my practice kid. You know, I was a child raising a child. How much older was your mother? About 40 years, something like that. So she raised the two of you at that point. Oh, yeah. So she's the one who programmed a lot of that about her eating and, and things. I would oh, think. yeah. Yeah. Did you have a weight problem yourself? Sure. Leave dressing rooms sobbing. At what age did that occur? Oh, any age. You're always, the last you're time always I cried chubby. in a dressing room. As a teenager? No, I wasn't because I would not eat. I would go. My mother. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but my mother made a deal with me. If you don't eat all day, I'll treat you to a McDonald's filet of fish sandwich for dinner. So I would go all day and not eat, and that would be my meal. And so that's how I maintained my weight. She practiced some form of anorexia. Oh, I, I don't think it was anorexia, because I was never afraid to eat. But I mean, yeah, that's a form a, of an eating disorder. I would have to tell you, I didn't even disorder. know that. Yeah, it's sick. It, it is sick. I knew she was obsessed with her weight and food, but I didn't know she starved all day. Did your mother have a weight problem? She didn't have a weight problem because she controlled it. How did she control Still, it? Still, till this day. How? She just restricts, and she'll tell me what she ate or what she did. Any... She talks about it. Oh, you have no idea. Did that come from your dad? No, that came from her mother. My grandmother was very appearance conscious, very. I think they're all sick. I really do. I think they're all just screwed up and sick and dysfunctional. I mean, that's like as honest as I can be. I don't disagree. I think it's just very sad that my grandmother grew up like that and you grew up like that and now that I grew up like that. I'm considering maybe relocating with my daughter to San Diego. Be a whole new start, a whole new fresh start for me. And I just have never experienced being completely on my own away from my entire family and everything I know. And to be honest with you, I've never really been